Yo, what's going on guys? Benlick here, coming to you guys again with another video. Today's video guys, I'm going to be showing you guys how to modify uh, Minecraft Legends if you guys are on PC. But, before you guys console people, go away, watch this video guys out so you guys can understand on when this is going to happen to console players. So guys, for console players, you guys will be able to do this eventually once Minecraft becomes cross-platform. Once Minecraft becomes cross-platform guys, you guys will be able to bring your saves to a PC. You don't need a strong enough PC. Or you can give your friend your save file if you have someone that has a PC, edit it, and then take it back to your console. There is a way, guys, currently to do it for PS4, but I'm not too sure exactly how to do it. But I will link a video down below. Should be the second or third link down below. Should tile PS4 way with the link to the guy's video, and he explains on how to do it. So if you guys are um, on PC, guys, and you guys have already beaten the game like I have, I already went through Apocalypse, beat everything, got to Gear Score 107 legitly. Now, I want to have the fun in the game. So, I created a duplicate character of mine, and we're going to get into it. So, the two things you guys will need to download. Number one, guys, is Cheat Engine. If you don't know what Cheat Engine is, it is it's a process. It's pretty much an application that allows you to modify in-game uh, addresses to give you guys pretty much anything you want in any certain game that does not have an online save. Since Minecraft Dungeon, guys, does not have an online save, it is all locally saved on your computer, on your hard drive, or SSD, you guys will be able to change stuff. So you can head over to cheatengine.org. I will have it linked in the description. You guys want to download it and have the newest version, which is 7.1. Once you guys have it, there will be a second link in the description, which will bring you guys to uh, Fearless Cheat Engine. It's pretty much a forum, guys, uh, anywhere uh, that a lot of people use. So guys, this guy named Idlehands88 just came out with this a couple days ago. Uh, I would say came out on the 30th, so about uh, a week and a, a week ago. He came out with a way to modify your guys' uh, items. So if you guys are on the Windows edition like I am, the Windows Store edition or the Microsoft Store edition, I would say, you guys are going to want to download the first one, which is Dungeon.ct. If you guys are on the launcher version, if you're on Windows 7, 8, or you just like the launcher version, you're going to download uh, Dungeon 64 shipping. Once you guys download it, you guys are going to want to you know, exit out of your browser. You guys are going to want to have your Minecraft dungeons uh, minimized. So to do that, basically just go here, go to your graphics, go to windowed, and uh, pretty much do the lowest resolution you guys can. So it gives you a small little box. Once you guys have that open, guys, you guys are going to want to open up your cheat engine. So I have it here. It will ask for administration uh, purposes. So you guys want to go through and install a cheat engine fully. Once you guys open it, all you guys are going to want to do is head over to right here where it says select a process to open once you guys click on this you guys will see three tabs the tab you want to select is the process tab in the process tab you guys you guys will see everything that's running on your computer so basically all you want to look for is the version of uh dungeons you guys currently have so in my case i have done dun um dungeons.exe if you guys are on the uh, what's it called the launcher edition it should be called dungeons.win64.shipping you guys want to double click it and make sure it's open now guys now you're going to want to head over to the file next to it which is pretty much you're going to open up a cheat table is what we're pretty much going to be doing so you're going to want to head over here head towards your downloads as you guys see i have both downloaded if you guys were on the microsoft edition uh the microsoft store edition you cannot download this one you would need to download the dungeons one once you guys have it you guys will see on the bottom this is where your new address stuff is this is where it's important guys you guys might want to create a backup of your character just in case something does go wrong you have always have a backup now I'm gonna head over here to Minecraft you guys will see I have nothing on this character for weapons I just have uh, what is it called artifacts I have no enchantments nothing so as you guys can see that I'm not gonna be cheating you guys not gonna be faking this video so let's get right into it so I'm gonna head over to the blacksmith real quick and grab a weapon so I got a bow I'm gonna grab one of each I got a bow again Another bow. Okay, got an armor. Now I just need a weapon. There we go. So, as you can see on these bows, I'm going to delete them. It doesn't matter, guys. You just got to have weapons in your inventory. So, as I head over here, let me just delete these real quick. Okay. So, as you guys can see, this is all that's in my inventory right now. So now you're gonna want to head over to your cheat engine. You guys gonna want to click activate button, 
guys um idle hands if you are watching this i really appreciate you guys this makes the game a lot more fun now you guys want to click here it says highlighted item images and you guys will see nothing appears here so all you want to do is click back on your minecraft and make sure it opens as you guys see when i click on it it says cut list down here it says cut list inside the item id so let's say you know you you're at towards the end game you don't really want to grind anymore all you can do is click on item click on your cut list you're going to want to double click on the value click on change to and you can literally change to anything you guys want in the game so for this instance uh let's go with you guys want to make sure you guys get what actually is the weapon type so you might want to search it up you don't want to be putting a, a um, an armor piece on a actual weapon because then you guys will crash your game and your fire will become corrupt so let's say I want what's the, right now the best one we got the fighting binding so this is actually the best item in the game so you're gonna hit okay once you guys hit okay you're gonna hit rarity click on this make sure you guys put unique so you can get the unique version power level you guys can put you can leave it at base or you guys can change you can mess around with it I'm not too much familiar with it guys but you guys might want to read the forum if you guys want to change up the power level skills on it you guys can modify skills on it if you guys want you can put a god roll but make sure when you guys do this you make sure you guys are safe um, doing it also with uh, armor stats now you're wondering oh man like why doesn't he have it over here well all I have to do is you have to go back into your player back out open it up as you guys can see I do have it now I can take it off off my inventory I already have the weapon pretty simple guys as you guys can see they are only level 76 and it does duplicate for some weird reason it like duplicates so you know as you guys can see if you take them off your hand and then you put them back on like and you open it back up your inventory sometimes they'll duplicate sometimes they won't it all depends and I just deleted my other items so that's pretty much it guys it's just a little quick uh, video um, I'm gonna show you guys now how to do it with armor I think I deleted my armor now when you guys click here you do want to make sure you have base on so that you don't delete your stuff cut uh, I just need armor okay, there we go we got mystery armor even better so let's no I don't once you guys do that make sure you guys do take this off um, the item because it will glitch out as you guys can see so I'm trying to show you guys everything that will go wrong so you guys can fix so I have shadow armor throw shadow armor and you guys can see boom it changed from a common to a unique now it says I have thieves armor so let's say I wanted to change this thieves armor into I don't know renegade so you're gonna click here let's say I want to do um, we can do yeah Running get armor. Click right here. Put OK. Now let's change the power level. Oh, make sure this is activated real quick. Let's change the power level, guys, up to let's put you know 12. Put OK. And then you can go back to Minecraft. Take it off. Put it on. And boom. Open your inventory. As you guys can see I have Renegade armor 111, which is pretty much that means it's modified. And you guys can change the enchantments on this. So that's pretty much guys it's a really quick easy video if you guys do need help on this you guys make sure you guys hit me up on uh, discord or twitter i will have uh, my discord down below and i'll have my twitter down below so if you guys do need help on pc doing this i can help you guys out now uh, let's say you know oh man you know i want to go back and i want to play normal now well all you got to do guys is head over to your main menu you guys will see this make sure you guys click unactivate so you're just gonna you know click that unactivate it close cheat engine and you guys it will freeze if you guys um, close cheat engine while doing this so that's something I wanted to show you guys it will freeze so to do that you know you just wanna reset your game now guys if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to like subscribe guys also comment down below guys if you um, would like me to show you guys any other ways to you know get modded um, what is it called to get modded emeralds, levels, um, unlimited arrows, stuff like that. So guys, this has pretty much been your boy Benlet guys. Um, I'm out. Um, 
I just want to thank you again for Idle Hands 88 His uh, link will be down in the description if I can find it to his Twitter or anything so you guys can drop him a follow. So guys, yeah, that's pretty much been your boy, guys, and I'm out. Peace.